So this is the second question in the weekly quiz for statistical inference. A random variable x is uniform, which is often, that's supposed to be is, often uh, gra uh, graphically depicted as a box from 0 to 1 with a height of 1, such that its dens density is f of x equals 1 for the range 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. Now, what is the what is this, what is its 75th percentile? Uh, another way of saying that is what is the third quartile? So exp uh, express your answer to two decimal places. We are going to look at this. This is a very theoretical question, but what we're going to do is actually look at it from the point of view of programming it. Uh, just to take a very different approach. So what I'm going to do here is generate 100 realizations of the random variable x. Okay, I'm just going to call that capital X. And just for the sake of simplicity, what I'm also going to do is round those values to three decimal places. I'll show you why I have to do that first. So let's go to R here. Let's look at X. There we have it there. That's a bit hard to look at. What we could do is round it to three decimal places. Uh, just make the numbers easier to get a uh, look at. Let's look at that there. Okay, now they're not in um, order there. So what we could do is put them in order. Uh, sort X. So there we have them there. Now the idea of this is to pick out the number that is, I've picked 100 for a reason, so as in general uh, the 75th percentile is 75% of the numbers are less than this number. Now here we would see that, it's just sort of gone off screen there a second, I'll just uh, redo it here, uh, that the number is I'll have to do this just up again. Is around not point. There we have it there. Not point not eight two two. Now that means eighty percent or sorry seventy five percent of the numbers uh, of this sample are less than or equal to this number. Now this is a random sample, so the idea is to actually just uh, do it again and again. If we were to run the whole thing again, let's run the whole thing again the whole bit of code, we get a sort of similar enough number uh, where is it there, 0 0.685 so it was 0 0.82 the last time and 0 0.68 let's just run it again one more time uh, 0 0.760 so in general uh, if you get the average of those numbers in general, what we're saying is that the number should be less the the, the seventy five percent of the number should be less than not point seven five. Now, what we could do there is just check this with a much greater series of values, and so we can run it for fifty thousand and then just get the quantile of that. So, uh, pr uh, get fifty thousand draws from the uniform distribution and have a look at that. So the command there is uh, run if or r unif uh, fifty thousand draws from the uniform distribution, okay, and get the seventy fifth quantile or the not point seven five quantile. So that's the seventy fifth uh, percentile, and there we see that the uh, number is not point seven five zero five one nine four. Again, that's just a it still has a bit of randomness. If you want the whole thing again get a similar enough number but here with a much uh, larger sample size we have uh, quite a lot of stability around 0 0.75 so that's the answer there 0 0.75 so the quantile function is very useful in that uh, case now second question this is question four from statistical inference so, so I've sort of skipped over question three because this one c can be looked at uh, through R code as well Suppose you are playing a game with a friend where you flip a coin and if it comes up heads you give her one dollar and if it comes comes up tails you win a dollar if she gives you a dollar. What is the variance of your earnings? Express your answer to two decimal places. Well, you could do this to um how should I put it? 
theoretical approach but again just to sort of complement a theoretical approach and uh, like learn the theory of random variables what we could do here is uh, program it with R code and just analyze it a different way now you're playing a game and you flip a coin we are going to assume that this coin here is a fair coin that is to say it's 50% heads 50% tails and the outcomes are for you for you you win a dollar so plus one or you lose a dollar so minus one so those are that's like as if you want your probability mass function there and what we have to do is uh, what is the variance of your earnings calculate the answer to two decimal places so probability of winning around not 0.5 and probability of losing around Q uh, P and Q uh, where Q is 1 minus P and they're both not 0.5 you can actually change that the way I'm about to code it so the generate a sequence of ones or minus ones okay and uh, let's just do it for 40 here okay this generates uh, 40 random numbers between 0 and 1 and if I want to generate a sequence of 1 and minus 1 where 1 and minus 1 are equally probable I can use this bit of code here sine of x minus 0 0.5 let's just look at that step by step here so those are the random draws from the uniform distribution but they're between 0 and 1 let's go x minus 0.5 actually clear the screen x minus 0.5 so there we have some numbers there minus 0.2893 so on so in general 50% of them should be negative 50% of them should be positive what we could do here is use the sine function and we'll just tell us uh, for example let's just have a quick look at the sine function uh, sine of minus 0.5 Seven six. that will give you a minus 1 essentially if you get a negative number the sine function will give you a minus 1 no matter what the negative number is and if you give it a positive number you get plus 1 okay now watch out for uh, zeros just be careful not relevant really for what we're doing but the sine of 0 is 0 so if it's a negative number or a positive number uh, disregarding the zeros it will give you a minus one or one so that's what we could use there for x minus 0 0.5 we can use the sine function to convert those numbers to ones and minus ones depending on whether or not they are negative or positive there we go now um, what we want is the variance of this number so let's go back to the question here um, oh yeah so what we're going to do here is the w these are the winnings okay and get the variance of the winnings There it is. It's more or less around one. Now, just remember, I went for a sample size of uh, 40. We can actually make that a bit bigger. Let's go back here. Let's go to 400, no, 4,000. Get the winnings, convert that into winnings, and get the variance of that. There you go. It should be around one. Now, um, you could do that by theoretical approach as well but just to sort of it's handy enough how to know how to code things as well just in case you need to